In many ways, that's a question of politics. Uh, it seems uh, that um, incoming President Biden wants to leave the Trump administration and everything about it behind him, that he doesn't want to keep wounds open by going after Trump. And if he doesn't, uh, we won't get any further at the federal level. Georgia is controlled by Republicans, even though one Democrat in their electoral commission has said that Trump should be prosecuted. It's hard to imagine a Georgia Republican bringing a prosecution uh, for what Trump has allegedly done, particularly since it would be hard to prove. So you'd have to prove that Trump uh, really didn't believe what he said and was trying to commit fraud rather than correct an honest record. Other than that, we, uh, you know, we did hear his voice. This was an audio recording. Uh, and there were other people on the call, so there are witnesses. Is that considered evidence? And if it is, is it enough? Uh, it certainly would be considered evidence. Uh, just the audio recording itself could be what lawyers call authenticated and would be admissible if Trump were tried. And the answer, I think, is yes, it could be uh, considered enough because some language in the call, as well as the call itself, the very attempt to get more votes, um, could, if a jury and judge decided, be sufficient to constitute a conspiracy to commit fraud or attempted fraud. And, Professor, you mentioned politics here. Really, uh, will any of this matter to President Trump's supporters? And secondly, we've been talking about this big Senate race in Georgia. Could or will it even impact that race? We simply don't know. Uh, clearly, there are numbers of Trump supporters for whom it won't matter, who take his word as gospel. But I think people forget that there are other Trump supporters who either choose Trump because they think he's the lesser of two evils, uh, or they're lifelong Republicans and they won't vote Democrat. So I think it's a mistake to think that all Trump supporters uh, will follow him no matter where he goes and what the evidence shows. All right, Professor Richard Limpert, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate your insight. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. My pleasure.